Greetings, adventurers. We are here at Rule Lake and Eagle Mountain Trails. I've already got my permit. Let me clean my shoes. Ah, stop those evasive species. All right, and we're off. We're gonna spend a night here. Maybe two, we'll see how it goes. Um, it's like 7.30. I think we're gonna camp for the, ten the night tonight and then tomorrow we'll do a little hike up to the top of Eagle Mountain, the highest point in Minnesota. Should be pretty exciting. Here we are, probably about a mile in, and we've reached the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Boundary. Let's go. It's a nice little bridge here with a beaver dam. I just came out of the woods into the, at the lake. There's a beaver. I scared the beaver when I came out. He's working on his dam. It's right here. What a beautiful lake. We have reached the campsite. camp set up. I don't think I'm going to need my rain fly tonight. It's not supposed to rain all weekend. And uh, I like to be able to see the stars above my head. So, uh, all set up. Now it's just time to start a fire and relax. Hopefully the fire will keep uh, some of these bugs away because they are terrible. Alright guys, I uh, got a fire going, cooked up my brats. Um, and I'm just kind of, uh, crawled in my tent and, uh, I'm just kind of relaxing. I'm actually pretty tired. It's been a long day. I got up early this morning and about 9.30. Um, it's just getting dark. Um, yeah. Looks like a really nice night. I guess it's good night. I'll see you in the morning. Good morning from the Boundary Waters. Um, yeah, it is a beautiful morning today. It's not too hot. It's like perfect temperature. It's about 9.30. Um, I slept in a little bit this morning. I woke up originally at like 6 and then I just stayed in bed because it was so nice. The sun wasn't shining on my tent. Um, it kind of is now. That's why I'm getting up because... Sun's shining on me now, and it gets warm pretty quick. But, uh, yeah. There was a grouse running around the campsite earlier. It's gone now, it looks like. But Yeah, I'm going to get up and have some breakfast, get ready for a hike up, a day hike up to the top of Eagle Mountain. Just hiking out of the campsite. Um, we are off to Eagle Mountain. It's not very far, I think it's about a mile. So, should be there quick. I brought some snacks so I can hang out there for a little while. Have a snack. And just enjoy the grandeur of the highest point in Minnesota. Alright, we've reached the fork. Look at that. Freaking amazing. I'm gonna continue to the actual top. Um, 
after that I might come back here to have lunch or Here we are folks, Eagle Mountain, the highest point in Minnesota. What a climb. I want to know who has the job of hauling this big thing out here. Do they drop it by hel helicopter? If anybody knows, drop a, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know how they get these big things out here. It's like those fire grates. The U.S. Forest Service fire grates. Those things are got to be a hundred pounds. Awesome! Woohoo! Check out this. All those blue lakes against that green forest background. Oh, it's just. Breathtaking. Man, look at this spot here. Oh, it's gorgeous. There's a nice breeze coming off of the, the viewpoint over here. It's just taking all the bugs away. It's not a single bug. Found a nice little grass patch right there. I'm going to sit, have my snack, hang out for maybe an hour or so. Just relax. This is... This is just what I needed. All right, so headed back to camp. I packed up, um, I hung out for a little while, had a snack, and then uh, I packed up and I'm gonna head back to the car. Um, and then I think we're gonna head somewhere else and see if we can see something else pretty cool. We are here at Judge Magny State Park. Now, um, the state park basically surrounds the lower part, lower section, of the Brule River, which up here in the North Shore is one of my favorite rivers. And uh, you can probably hear it. Um, here's the bridge. We're going to go across the bridge, across the river. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. I gave you Devil's Kettle Falls. It gets the name Devil's Kettle, obviously from the uh, left side there. Falls into a cauldron there. A kettle, I think. The mystery is nobody knows where that water comes out. They tried using dyes, GPS locators, ping pong balls, all sorts of stuff, and they can't find out where that water comes out. Right at the top of the house. 
in the middle of the river. Devil's Kettles, Devil's Kettle Falls. Pretty awesome, right? I was about a mile in and a mile back and 200 stairs down and 200 stairs up. That was brutal. Anyway, um, it's about seven o'clock. Um, I'm kind of just exploring the woods here, looking for some uh, good camping sites. Um, I know of one a little further down, but uh, I've never really been back here very much. Just wanted to drive around, check it out, see what I can find. So, uh, yeah, I'll meet you back at the campsite. Look what I found driving down the road. Wow, Thompson Lake. It's just right on the side of the road here. I don't know if you can see it in here, but... Uh, Two gorgeous loons shred up there by that log. Found my campsite. Here we go. This is the uh, Cascade River. Awesome. Nice little campsite. Only had to hike like a tenth of a mile. The road. And a nice little campsite here. I have about the smallest tent pad I have ever seen. But I don't take up that much space. Just look at this gorgeous, gorgeous campsite. We're out looking over the lake. The sun is setting. We're going to watch the sunset over the lake. 6.45, 7 o'clock. Um, yeah, great night. Uh, got a chance to wake up to this in the morning, which is awesome. Had to get up at about 3 in the morning. Because it uh, started thundering and lightning and raining. Had to throw the fly up on my tent. We are going to head out of here. I think we're going to hit up a couple more places, see a couple more things before we head home. So I stopped here at one of the more popular roadside stops along the North Shore here in Minnesota. This is the Temperance River. This is where it leads out into Lake Superior. And it flows through this canyon. It's a nice little slot canyon. When I was a kid, we used to come up here and go cliff jumping, right here. Cliff jump into this little pool and climb it back up. Alright folks, we are here at Taconite Harbor. This is a gorgeous little shoreline area. There's a big island out there. I'm not sure the name of the island. I'm sure it has a name, but... It's an old mining town area. There used to be a town just up the hill from here. Um, which we will visit shortly after this. But, uh... 
If you can see over there, there's a giant mining refinery, something. But uh, that town basically was employed at that refinery. This big concrete thing here was some kind of trolley system which connected to the island over there. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but it was some kind of ferry system that used a, a wire to go across. And now it serves as a, a safe harbor for people, boat launch. Just a gorgeous little area. All right, so here we are in the old town. Um, there are no structures left, but as you see, as you can see, I'm walking on the old. I think it was the main street. Um, so there is, you know, some remnants. I guess what happened was the mining company wanted to use this area as a limestone dumping deposit. They wanted to dump a bunch of limestone here. So they moved everyone out. I guess the last resident moved down in like June 1988. And then after that happened, a environmental report came back and said that there would be, there would be bad impacts on the environment from having a limestone dumping around here. So the deal fell through and uh, this is what was left behind. Here the road is kind of crumbling away. There's not really much left. You can see there's a curb over here. Well, that was a lot of fun. But uh, I think that's about it for this video. I'm gonna head home. Yeah, glad we got to see uh, Devil's Kettle Falls. We got to go to the highest point in Minnesota. See some awesome sights. Great views. I call that a success.